welcome back to my channel we're gonna go ahead and get started into this i sped up the video so that's why it moves really fast so if it's not lined up with the words i do apologize but here i'm just gonna go ahead and get into it and start cleaning my daughter's closet rearranging organizing her clothes um, from her coats jackets and vests to her dresses Here I'm just hanging up some of her hoodies and shirts uh, and like two piece outfits. The rest of the hangers I'm eventually gonna throw away, but I did get some new hangers from Target, which was 18 in a pack for $2.49, I believe. Target is my go-to. And they have some really cute colors, which was peach, white and gray this is a back breaker for sure uh, ignore the tote in the closet that's just nothing but uh, comforters sheets pillowcases finish hanging up her shirt really just be finding stuff to do since after a certain time I have nothing to do but then I get started and just be like why did I do this and I should probably just get over it <laughs> but it keeps me busy so some of her dresses uh, that she got for Christmas. Just try and get it organized because eventually I do want to go in and put shelves in her closet. Um, and then at the bottom, I want to do something like another shelf for just her shoes. Okay, so these are her totes uh, or drawer totes, bin totes, whatever, drawers that are totes. Anyways, whatever, besides the point. So here I'm just organizing her pajamas. Um, so one of the drawers is gonna be her two-piece pajamas and the other one's gonna be her dresses, as well as she got her undergarments. Here goes my husband, just photo bombing, video bombing. That's what he do. But back to what I was saying. So one drawer has like her socks. The other one has her dresses that are pajamas. And then the other one is two pieces. So here I'm hanging up her robe and her really thick one piece pajamas that would just take up too much space in her drawer. Uh, her romper and costume. Finishing up her two-piece sweatsuits. More rompers. Skylar wants to help or tell me what to do. Either or. She just be doing this stuff. <laughs> I 
all her jeans. So I moved her dresses down for whatever reason. Um, yeah, so I'm just adding the rest of her shirts and outfits. These are her tights. So she has a lot of them, which brought me cookies you know cookies is my favorite especially chocolate chip when it fresh out the oven oh my gosh amazing so those are her blankets at the top her purses and one side her hats her coats, vests, jackets, dresses, her jeans, her shirts, so long sleeves, short sleeves, her rompers, and her PJs, and her costume. So that's that. Those are the clothes I'm giving away to um, so whoever is in need of clothes. That is from, I want to say, 3T to 4T, maybe 5T for some. So those are just the drawers. Her in this wig. And then her tights at the bottom. I want to paint her room pink. I really, really do. But I just don't know how that's going to look with her stores. But yeah, you know I'm gang gang. Hope you guys enjoyed my husband's video. I added that clip. But let's get into you guys cooking with me. This is all the stuff you need. So here, I had already washed the chicken. But here, I'm just chopping up. Uh, the chicken in pieces because uh, they were very very thick and then I always cut off like the additional fatty parts The pot in the back of my stove is homemade chicken noodle soup, which the kids was going to eat because they don't really care for spinach and all that stuff. So they had their own meal. But back to this one. So I got rid of all the fatty pieces. Here I'm just going to go ahead and season. So with garlic salt, crushed red pepper, lemon seasoning, ground pepper. Um, and a little bit of salt and I'll do that on both sides of the chicken go 
ahead and oil my pans and get that heated up and add butter so the oil I used was olive oil I had to use two pans because well a pot and a pan because the other one was preoccupied as you can see so once the other pan gets hot enough I'm going to use that to kind of kill time so I don't have to wait the hype woman in the back. Get it nice and brown on both sides. Here, I'm just peeling the garlic. I never really cook with fresh garlic. I'm still pretty young, but I just added the remaining pieces of garlic in a little snack bag. Oh my god, nobody told me my collar was messed up on my robe. Browning up my chicken. Here I am just chopping up the rest of the garlic. My onions were frozen, but they were already chopped up. They were in the freezer. Finish cooking my chicken. Rinse off my spinach. Cause you don't know who be touching all over the food. All over produce. Bang the onions because they were so frozen and stuck together. Add some more oil, let it saute so the onions and garlic season. I added my spinach. So let that cook in and get some flavor. Added my half and half. And when I cook the chicken, I just cook it to crisp because I'm gonna put it all in a pot together. And add some mozzarella cheese. I have burnt my tongue, but it was worth it. It tastes so good. Added more cheese. You know, I gotta let everybody taste the chicken first.
wash these dishes so I don't have much to do at the end of the night. And because I'm about finished done with cooking, I already put the rice on last. So it don't be cold by the time dinner is completely ready. So I just started that. He's always thinking somebody dropped something on the floor, which is a dog. And then here goes my daughter. Now I'm just, you know, getting food ready so it's easy to put up tonight. And I can have clean dishes so I don't got to do too much at the end. So the chicken noodle soup that's homemade is in the red container. Well, the container with the red top. So that's the kids' dinner. Um, they're gonna have that with some crackers. You know, kids, they like noodles. They're not really big on spinach and that kind of thing. So the two big kids and then the baby. Well, yeah, he's still kind of considered a baby slash toddler because he's one he's a little over one so I already took him his food and chopped it up and then the kids foods like I said there's this homemade chicken noodle soup with Ritz crackers so you know I had to taste my rice but anyways so now I'm making a plate for my husband and then eventually I'll get mine. That's the final look. It was so good and juicy. It wasn't dry. It was so moist. Oh my gosh. It was everything. So that was my husband's plate. And that's the kids eating dinner.